Well, we have got very good pedigree. We have uh, an extremely well-trained team. Uh, we know that we can produce what we are aiming to achieve. We have uh, managed to uh, take uh, senior thoracic registrars um, and make them independent on the console to do complex robotic surgery. So we know at the top end, these people can become competitive at interview and achieve consultant posts. We've also uh, in-house training for our SHO group, so the clinical fellows or the junior trainees, and that uh, provision of training is, is really a, a start in the right direction. European-wide, that, that is echoed by all my colleagues who teach, um, but we are well ahead of the game. Bart's Health has got a long tradition of training and education, and this is another example of how we can really show ourselves to be extremely good at what we do. Bart's being one of the most innovative Respiratory and Thoracic Surgery Centre offers an opportunity to bring collaboration between industry and clinical practice to try to push these envelopes forward and hone the techniques so that very soon these techniques will become mainstream techniques and that could be used in trials. Um, and as the technology continues we're going to be able to offer more advanced treatment to more people and that's really what we're trying to achieve. Um, and I think we're, it's not going to just be in surgery. We heard an excellent talk this morning from Mr. Lau about bronchoscopic robotics. So I think um, it's just going to be used more and more until it's um, going to become the norm really across the service. I think guided bronchoscopy is the future. Um, the other specialties in medicine have all gone endoluminal and pulmonology and thoracic surgery is one of the last uh, bastion for, to, to pass that threshold. The number of lung cancer patients coming for screening with lots of nodules that need diagnosis, many of them are inoperable which lends them uh, a low, uh, minimally invasive technique means that there is going to be a big future for guided bronchoscopy. As we get more experience and the technology improves and it becomes better, it might even rival current established techniques for the treatment of lung cancer and that will await trial, trials when we then be able to randomize patients to different modalities of treatment, whether it is ablation, surgery or radiotherapy.